I propose a race. A regular brewing stand versus the Brew Faster, a machine designed to brew potions up to three times as fast as normal. I think you know how this is going to end. Let's load in the ingredients. Put some water bottles in here and load the ingredients in reverse order. And let's go ahead and load everything into the regular brewing stand. On my mark, three, two, one, go. First of all, let me give credit where credit is due. This idea was originally created by Ray Torres. I only made some improvements to the, to the design and compacted the redstone. And as a bonus, this whole thing is silent. It works by not queuing up potions in the stack, but actually doing a trick that allows the brewing to start before the potions are in the brewing stand, but I'll explain a little bit more on that later, because it looks like our potions are almost done. And here we are, five ingredients in just 30 some seconds. Let's see how these potions are doing. Still on the, only the third ingredient. You know what? Let's brew some more potions while we wait, with a completely different set of ingredients. While this just starts its fourth ingredient, this only takes about the time of one ingredient to brew everything and the rest of the time is just potions moving through the system. So we should see once this finishes, it will wait a couple seconds and then everything will start to go and the potions will be on their way back into this chest. And there they go. And let's see. It's going to be close, but here they come. Splash Potions of Jump Boost 2, and this isn't even finished brewing yet. Alright, so you can see there are some clear advantages to this system. The downside, of course, is that it takes all this redstone, but hey, you know, if you've got the resources, you might as well have the best equipment available. I'll jump into an explanation, and then after that, I'll show you how to build. The underlying concept is that potions will keep brewing as long as there's at least one bottle in the stand. So you can put more bottles in, take them out, and completely switch up the potions in the stand, and you still won't lose any time. This machine automates that process. It's designed so that each ingredient finishes brewing just when the potions arrive, and immediately after, they're whisked away to the next stand. First, the ingredients are sent down through these hoppers. They need to be put in in reverse order because the first ingredient will make it all the way down to the last brewing stand, the second ingredient will make it to the second to the last brewing stand, and so forth. These hoppers are unpowered when they're all loaded into correct slots, and after that, the clock is started. The timing is done by this hopper timer here, which, when active, depowers these hoppers, starting the hopper clock and taking one signal strength from these comparators every 16 redstone ticks. This will power these droppers in succession so that these potions are sent into the brewing stand to start the brewing at the correct times. After that, the whole thing will go into standby mode while the brewing completes, and when that's finished, the comparators will once again begin losing signal strength and unpowering these hoppers up here, allowing the potions to move through the system from each stand to the next. One tick after each of these hoppers is depowered, the hopper below will be powered, allowing just enough time to get these potions back into the droppers before the real potions flow down to the next brewing stand. Finally, the potions are sent into this item elevator, which brings them up to the top and puts them in the chest. By this time, the comparators have reset, the clock has stopped, this indicator light is on, and the machine is ready for the next batch. One important thing to note is that in order to start the brewing process, the ingredient has to be compatible with the potion. And because we're using an awkward potion in the second dropper, the first ingredient has to be nether warts. Since all potions are based in nether warts, this isn't a problem. However, you can make a weakness potion without using nether warts by adding a fermented spider eye to a water bottle. If you're going to use this system, you're just going to not have to use the shorter recipe and instead brew a strength potion using nether warts and blaze powder and then corrupt it with a fermented spider eye to get a weakness potion. Well, that's the overview of how this works. Before I go any farther, let me just restate that this is not my original idea. Ray Taurus is the one who came up with it. 
The link to his video is on screen and in the description, so check him out if you can. Alright, now let's get on to building. To build this, you need a space that is 10 blocks wide, 6 blocks deep, 10 blocks high, and everything you see in my inventory. 5 of any slab, 89 of any solid block, 15 droppers, 35 hoppers, 18 comparators, 11 repeaters, 43 redstone dust, 3 buttons, stone or wooden, 22 redstone torches, 5 brewing stands, 9 furnaces, 5 chests, 1 wooden tool, 44 of any item that stacks to 64, 1 optional redstone lamp, 1 awkward potion, and 3 basic swiftness potions, that is, swiftness potions that don't have redstone, glowstone, or gunpowder added to them. Start out by going 4 blocks from the long side, and 4 blocks from the short side, and pillar up 1 block. Now put two droppers facing up, go off to the side and do two more, and two more, and two more. Go back down, break this block, and put a hopper facing into each of those bottom droppers. Now over here, build the side by one block, point a hopper into it, and break it. Now put a brewing stand on top of here, and repeat this pattern for all four of those and once more at the top here. Now go around and into each of these four brewing stands put a hopper. Next go back to that bottom brewing stand and point a hopper into it and do so for all four others. And now point a hopper into this one again with the chest on top point a hopper into the chest and put another chest and continue this pattern all the way up to here and now just put another hopper facing it on this side now we'll make the potion return system we'll bring them all to this chest right here go over to this hopper down here and put a dropper facing up and put four more on top of that now make a hopper chain leading to this chest from that top dropper and I'm going to put furnaces on top of them to reduce hopper lag, but this isn't strictly necessary. All you have to do is be able to put a comparator on top of this block. The rest of the blocks can be changed or removed however you like. Now it's time to start on the redstone. Come around back here to these hoppers and put a repeater on all of them like this. Add a block here and put another repeater on top of that. Behind all of those repeaters, put some blocks, and on the bottom four, put redstone. Now come around here like this, up here, and around here, put a repeater with redstone dust like this, and to lead into that repeater, put a block here, a slab here, dust, and a block. Come around here and get a block with a repeater on max delay. Build out a little platform like this. Put a comparator here on subtract mode, dust, and two torches. Come around here and put a block underneath it. Put a block with redstone. And leading out from that, a repeater pointing into another block. Now over here, we're going to build out from here and put a button on this block with a torch here and redstone on top of it. Come back here and put redstone here, a block here, a dropper right here and up here. Put one of your items in this dropper here. And over here, we're going to put a block with a comparator and a block right here. To build the hopper timer, place two hoppers facing into each other right here. Put a comparator facing this way on this hopper over here with a block behind it and over here put a block with a dot of redstone. Down here put another block with a dot. Back to this comparator put a block here, some redstone right here, and a torch here. Put a block on top of that torch and two blocks over here with redstone dust on top. Now put a torch here and a repeater facing this direction. Come down here 
and below this torch, put a block with a comparator facing out from the hopper. Put a block here with a torch here. And now go over to this hopper and put in 37 items. Finally, we're going to take the output from this, comp uh, from this hopper over here using a comparator like so. On to the hopper clock, put a lock right here with a torch and build down furnaces like this. Put a slab here and another there. Redstone dust like this. Build down a couple locks like this. And put redstone here. Put a block with a comparator. Two more blocks like this. A comparator here block and dust right here and now put in your hoppers so here here and here here all pointing into each other as a chain and in this hopper right here put one item now we're going to place the comparators that control the signal strength come over to this block here and build back three build back another three from here Place one comparator on subtract mode and three normal ones like this. Place a block with some redstone here and redstone and another block here. Now come back over to this side, place the comparator on subtract mode. Another one here pointing out of a furnace. In this furnace you'll put your wooden tool and five of your items that stack to 64 that also cannot be smelted. The furnace is just to get the right signal strength into this comparator. Come over to here and place a block, a comparator facing into another block, and now we're going to staircase up like this, knock out those temporary blocks here, and line this with redstone. We're going to place torches here to power the droppers. And because of a quirk with redstone, even though this redstone is pointing into this block, it's not actually powering it. We can fix this by placing a block over here with a button on it. Back on this side, we're going to come over to this hopper, place blocks here and here, put a repeater on this one and a comparator on this one, put a block with redstone dust here, and come back along here, put a block with a comparator and one more block here. Hop over to this side and place a torch on this block over here. Now we're going to make another little staircase up here. So put blocks on each of these hoppers facing into the brewing stands. We're going to put redstone on these five blocks right here. And now we're going to put torches on these three in the middle. We're going to come down here like this and put a block here, a block here, and a block here. Put redstone like this and get a block here with another bit of redstone. Now put slabs here and here with redstone on top of them too. And we still have to fix that little redstone quirk on this side, so we're going to put a block up here with a button underneath. We're almost finished. All that's left to do is build the item elevator. Let me make a quick disclaimer. I had to make a minor adjustment since I started the recording this tutorial. I realized that this repeater powering this block when it was over here could butt power this dropper and if the game chose to update this torch before the repeater then this dropper wouldn't activate. So I shifted it over by one block and now everything is just dandy. Okay, so we're going to build out from here and put a comparator facing into a block with a torch on this side. Up over here we've got three blocks with redstone dust. Over here we're going to put two torches and a block with redstone underneath this one. Now we're going to go around the side and put a block with a repeater and another block with a torch. Now over here we're going to make a little torch tower like this. So it goes here, then up to here, and here. And now we're done. All that's left to do is put on the finishing touches. Come around to your droppers here, and in the first dropper, in the bottom one, put the awkward potion. In the next row, 
put the swiftness and do that for the other two. And now everything is ready to test out. Let's put in some water bottles here and let's put in our ingredients up here. Remember to put them in reverse order that you want to brew them and let's start it up. Now, if you want to, you can also put an indicator light right here. If this light is on, it's safe to press the button and start the machine. If it's off, do not press the button because that will mess up the timing. If you do happen to mess up the timing, then most likely the potions in here will actually get brewed, and so you'll have to go around to your droppers and replace them. But if that happens, it's no big deal. It'll only take a short while to replace it. And if you put the ingredients in the wrong order here, so if you end up with ingredients that can't be brewed sitting in one of these stands, then all you have to do is remove them from the stands and you should be good to go. And it looks like our potions are ready. Yep. I put these in here earlier to test the item elevator, but our potions are all brewed and ready to go. Well, that's it for this video. I gotta say, I love doing redstone heavy builds like this, so thanks again to Ray Taurus for the inspiration. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.